What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. Sergio, I I've seen double dude. Didn't you just have a truck that looked identical to this in your shop? Yes, I did. I don't know <laughs> Actually, he was just here too, by the yeah. way. So you guys might remember the uh, EcoFresh's F-150 that he has done where it's all in the red and the gold. Well, now he got his twin brother here. This one's got the longer bed in it though. And uh, I guess he's here for a train air horn install. And this is like, I'm gonna call this the small but mighty horn package today because We've never actually fully done one of these setups. If you guys remember, Eddie's cousin back in the day came over and he he bought the same horn mount, but we ended up uh, going with the bigger mount and changing a bunch of things up. So we've never done one of these small conductor specials from horn blasters. And just looking at this kit, I mean, the reason I'm calling it small but mighty is I know for a fact that those horns are pretty loud, but I've never seen them off of a tank this small, single compressor, small mount. So we're really gonna dig in today and see just what this thing does i'm not gonna call this an affordable option uh we'll get into the price of this setup in a minute it, it's gonna blow you away the price of this and i don't know if that's good or bad but basically what this kit does is this is the spare tire uh removal relocation kit so you remove your spare tire which might already be off there you go it's already off and then you use that little hanger right there which what that does is that's what drops your spare tire down when you crank on your little little spinny thing that comes with your jack so what this kit does is you then take that piece it enters into the bracket here and then you crank it back up. It's got these little standoffs to kind of keep positive pressure and reduce vibration. There's some big rubber feet on it, but that is the, that's essentially it for the install um, in terms of like getting this in there. Obviously you gotta, that's it for the install, Sergio. That's it. That's yeah. it, easy, <laughs> easy. easy. <laughs> uh, other than the fact that you gotta pre-assemble everything, which, you know, trust me, it's a lot easier to assemble these things outside of the truck oh, yeah. than if it were to like individually mount the components. The other horn that you mounted also was one piece already mounted to a bracket. Yeah, yeah. These horn blasters ones are all individual horns. So unless you have a bracket to mount them up to, trying to find a spot to mount all of these individually would not be fun, especially no. considering like, look at the span on where those bolts are from front to back on this thing. Like, where exactly you're gonna mount that without building your own custom bracket like we should just run them through the exhaust dude That'd be sick oh, this guy, oh yeah, that's good <laughs> Actually this guy told me if you need to cut your those pipes if they're on your way you can cut them the exhaust. Yeah, the exhaust <laughs> Yeah, he's like he's gonna I, I don't know if I'd do that Sergio, but he says he, you say so want to go grab the Sawzall or the torch? <laughs> torch will be fun. Torch will be fun. All right, so included in this kit like you basically have to piece some of this stuff together so you Purchase your, your horns that you want, and then they have different bracket options. You're gonna see Wes is actually showing up today to be swapping out the bracket on his truck. Um, in my eyes, I like his bracket setup better because it doesn't rely just on that little cable that holds your spare tire, which I'm assuming is gonna loosen up over time. Wes's is actually bolted in, which like I said, I prefer, but if you don't wanna deal with any drilling holes or anything like that, this is the ideal setup. So you buy your horn setup, buy your mount your bracket that matches and then you can basically buy the whole kit which comes with the tank the compressor right here it's a buy air compressor we'll pull that out in a second and then he opted for an air chuck valve and a tire inflation kit which comes with the little little tire inflator here from via air as well as their little extension curly q hose which those hoses are a nightmare once you like undo them a couple of times this guy went like full bore on this kit and again I'm gonna tell you guys the price in a little bit and <laughs> it's gonna blow you away like <laughs> so the one thing i noticed that being this is like the the micro kit but they put in this giant pressure switch so what a pressure switch does is it's what turns like tells the compressor to turn off when the tank has reached a certain psi obviously since you don't blow anything up not that these via compressors are really going to put out enough power to blow anything up but this one is rated at 150 psi but i'm like sergio this thing is ginormous dude normally the ones are like they're like that big but the sergio thing. noticed yeah. that this is, uh, well normally you have, you need your pressure sensor and a relay to make everything work. Um, because the power that you need to, to activate the whole compressor is a lot. So you cannot use the power from your ignition directly, so you need a relay to make it work. So I noticed this thing is the whole thing. You have a pressure sensor in here and a relay in here. So everything is, is packed together. I don't know if I still like this because it's too big and it, heavy. It's almost as big as a tank. And I think with vibration and all that, it might. I'm assuming up. they've tested it, but yeah, I, I can know. see. I mean, I don't know. You're kind of hinging on that little point right yeah, there. So as you're exactly. driving down the road, you got this heavy brick. So normally we have these things. Yeah, so that's a relay. So oh, there there's a pressure switch and a relay together, which you can see. I mean, obviously put things into one housing like this. You gotta make it a little bit bigger, but yeah, yeah. I'd opt for separate. I mean, I see what they're doing, trying to ease the install here, but. The other issue is what if 
your pressure switch goes wrong, um, bad, or your relay goes bad. What do you need to do now? Right. To replace the whole thing. Yeah, I don't know what these cost. I don't know if they sell them individually, but I don't know. But I don't. I haven't seen anything like this before. Then the other thing is the airlines that you want to run. I mean, this is kind of bigger than I expected to see in this kit. I wonder if you upgraded. These are half-inch airlines. Obviously, the the bigger the airline, wow. the more air you're going to be going to the horns, which. You know, not always a good thing, but usually a good thing. The more horns you want, the more air you got coming out. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in these kits, a lot of parts. They kind of just give you a grab bag of fittings. So there's like your little manifold that splits off from one output to four to run for the four horns. A lot of little bits and pieces that go into these things. And Sergio's becoming the install master. <laughs> IEP-USA.com. Shoot him an email. They'll get yeah. you installed. I know, but I mean, it's not complicated. It's just time consuming. Very, very time consuming. So his dad's actually pre-wiring everything right now. So I know we've done a ton of horn installs on the channel, but one of the things I wanted to show you is this small setup. So we're going to see how it goes together here as Sergio starts building it. And you know, this might be a better option for some of you guys with smaller vehicles. Um, you don't, I mean, this is built to go in the spare tire area, but you can really take this bracket as like a hole and mount it anywhere. I've seen motorhomes, other things like that. Like it, it is a decent bracket for that you can actually modify it too if you wanted and just use actual bolts so we're getting everything plumbed up right now we've got the dump valve so this is an electronic valve that dumps all the air at the press of a button so on Wes's truck he's actually running a three-quarter valve which Wes is running a much bigger air setup even though he's only running a three horn setup but the actual cast the Nathan horns draw so much more air than the smaller diaphragms do on these plastic horns that Nobody really needs a three-quarter setup unless you're running the massive horns. So again, the footprint of this thing is going to be really small. You're just running your airline from your tank right on over right there to your valve. From the valve, it's going to go drop down individually. Put a manifold right here. We'll plumb up each horn individually. On the opposing side, this is where the compressor is going to be mounted. Hey, buddy! Hey, hey I hate to break it to you, man. Uh, your truck caught on fire. That's fine. I called you three times yesterday. I thought I could leave it in a safe warehouse, but someone was sleeping in. Josh, you haven't been on the channel in six Years, dude. I call Ryan, he doesn't answer. Uh, I'm like, dude, geez. I just want to get down. No, clearly you're out. Tan? You're clearly out getting your tan, doing Detail the boat the life. truck, you know. Oh, we're booming. Wait, wait, we're, you we're got your big, your big captain's license now. Big man, right? Jeez, what you, you must be boat or what? I can't afford Her the boats that you drive. Good, I can't you know? afford the boats that you drive. Uh, so Josh had his truck over here having Sergio do some of the Phoenix cannons. These are the same ones that I'm running on the OBS to get strobes in the front and rear. He's got amber white. And again, the cool thing about the cannons is that you can. uh Pretty much use any factory lighting hole. You might have to just open it up a little bit, but yeah. it looks like it fit pretty well. And these actually double as high beams. Look, okay, we haven't even seen you since you finally got new wheels and tires on the truck. Like, it's been that long. Thank yeah, it has been that I've long. I've been down there. So a lot of you guys don't know, Josh is actually running a Nathan K5 LA as well. His is just a little, a little roughly mounted here. So, you know, we've got the professional Sergio mount style, and then we've got the just let it flop around in your bed mount style here, which is a, uh, yeah, good thing these Nathans are built tough. Yeah. And his whole compressor setup, everything in there. What is that, an eight, eight gallon? Uh, eight and a half. Yeah. Eight and a half gallon. Uh, All right, so the compressor is now mounted up. I mean, you can see, like, this is, again, a small, compact thing. Looks like the, the pressure switch and the relay fits really nicely up inside there. Wiring or hoses, I should say, look very clean. There's your manifold that's going to split off to your four horns. Shoot, cruising along, Sergio. Now, the only issue is <laughs> we don't have the tool to remove the spare tire. Well, to lower the cable, I should say the tire's already gone. Uh, you can see Sergio's dad's already pre-run everything. The wiring is just stubbed out back here for when they actually go to put it in. They can make all their final connections. We're going to have to figure out how to manually lower these things. None of us own Fords with the right tool. So now the mount's been flipped over. On this setup, particularly, um, all the horns go on the bottom. Well, yeah, bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I keep mixing it up. This thing's been flipped over 20 times. The horns go on the bottom. Everything else goes up top. Whereas you'll see like on the bigger mounts, everything is on the same plane versus like making it as tall as this build is right here. So I haven't even done a real full walk around on this truck, but clearly he's running an FTS kit. I don't know what size that is, six to eight inch, maybe it looks like. I do really, really like this color from Ford. Let's see what size wheels, tires we're running. We're running 38, 13 5s, R22s. And clearly by looking under the hood, this thing has a uh, been off road a time or two. So the horns are all mounted. Horn Blasters now includes this little handy dandy tubing cutter, which actually works pretty well. I just successfully use it without losing a finger. <laughs> are you sure? Did you kind of? Yeah, there's 12. We're still good. <laughs> so it comes with all the push to connect connectors. Push, Sergio. Push. Cut. Here you go, Sergio. Cut. Not my finger. You trust me? Uh, yeah. No, but 
Woo! Look at that. Don't leave these around your kids, because I can see that going bad real quick. It's like a death chip clip. All right, we're going for the install. And by the way, we uh, found somebody with the tool, so. <laughs> Made life a little easier getting that spare tire thing down. Okay. Got it. Does it go all the way to the bottom one, or is it? Keep going up. Know. Gotta go up more. Ah. I didn't move myself. Oh, jeez. Oh. There we go. We'll just let it dangle underneath like that. It's a pinata. All right, so now all you got to do is crank up where your spare tire would go. It'll crank the horn assembly up into place. All right, so she just sucks right up into place there. My, 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 my. So she's tight. So obviously, like cable-wise, your spare tire weighs way more than this whole setup weighs. But I just don't like relying on a something that's not rigid mounted. Hey, Sergio, get it. Look at that one leg technique right there. There you go. All right. They do include two uh, safety cables, just in case anything fails, which again, I prefer bolts to not have to worry about <laughs> that, but it is good to know that you have these little uh, safety cables there. Hold up, hold up. Damn, yes. son, you came to hook us up? Where's the code no, red? We got them Hawaiian rolls and the Mountain Dew. Yeah, you always got the BS soda, so Dang, I had to bring bro. the real. Hey, I appreciate you, red, you It was all out. That's what I was, I was gonna get code red, but they were all out. Trust me, this was second choice. <laughs> Let me see this thing. We never got to see this thing finished the other day. It's not we'll open it up. We're waiting on some stuff. What are we waiting on? We don't got all the batteries in yet. Hey, I like your battery spot right there. It's a good location. All right, all right. So Sergio is all wrapped up for the night. Uh, he didn't get to finish his horn install today, so I'll bring you back tomorrow. And you guys can hear the horn when it is fully finished. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about, I mentioned earlier that Wes is going to be redoing his setup today and I want to talk to you, well not today, but he got his new mount. I want to kind of talk to you about uh, what's going on, his situation with his horn mount. Now, a lot of you guys mentioned that we complain about a lot of stuff and trust me, the reason we do it is if we know that improvements can be made on something or if something should be made a certain way, like we want to put the complaints out there that way products get improved and that way it helps you guys out, it helps us out. Like. Just, we're out here looking out for the better good of everybody. I know it sounds like we complain a lot, but we just want things to be right. So, Wes is running uh, the Horn Blasters full tire delete mount. This is the, the other mount I was telling you guys about. This one actually fully bolts into the truck versus just being cranked up by the spare tire. Typically, Horn Blasters, they mount plastic horns on a lot of stuff. So when it came time to build in this thing, Wes is running some big old Nathan cast metal horns and Wes noticed a little kind of flaw in the design. So as you can see, I have a ratchet strap on here because there was some um, rattling going on. So basically we reached out to Wicked and Horn Blasters and they've been really accommodating through the whole process. But basically the design looks really cool. There's a lot of logoing and cutouts in, in the plate and it tended to make the bracket a little flimsy. So reached out to them and kind of let them know and, and showed them pictures and videos of what was going on and they were more than happy to basically redesign their, their brackets. Thing is, when you when you make a bracket for such a broad range of, you know, years or vehicles and stuff, there's stuff can go wrong or or whatever. So we, we kind of helped them along the way and they, they sent out a new bracket. Um, seems to be much stiffer and should work out really well. Yeah, so the issue he was running into, I don't think it's gonna do it now because it's ratchet strapped up, but there was some, some flex in the mount um, and again, these horns are massive, they're metal, they're heavy, um, plus a tank, like it just all adds up weight. And like he was saying, there's a lot of cutouts with logos and stuff like that. And they have a lot of designs for mounts that they may never have actually made for anybody yet, but they had it for a specific application. And Wes may be the first person that ever had this and maybe the first person that got to kind of test it. But we noticed it one day when we took the truck off road that there was, it was just, you know, there was more bounce and flex in this than he would have liked it. It led to a little bit of a rattle going on right there. Wes reached out and Wes actually like redrew a new design for them, right? Well, I, I kind of like explained what was going on and I don't always explain with words the best way. So I kind of drew out the same, you know, layout that they had just showing, you know, if you don't cut out here in the center, it would be a lot stiffer. As soon as you remove that material in the middle of the, of the you know the plate it becomes really flimsy i could kind of tell when we first got it and i did mention it to them but i was they kind of assured me it, it should be fine but then again you can't really guarantee a lot of stuff especially like ryan said if it's something that, that this is not a very popular horn setup and i'm sure not a lot of guys do them on 1500s anyway you know i know we've we've said we've run into issues from time to time but one thing about horn blusters is that they've always tried to make it right so they completely had a whole new mount made here for our good buddy wes per some of his specifications here. 
redesigned. They definitely went above and beyond, you know, sending it out on their dime. I, I, I opted to get it powder coated on my own just because uh, I felt like they, they did enough to, to satisfy me. But they opened up these windows here for my uh, the air filters on my compressor since my compressors are a little physically a little larger than the, the, v, the v air or by air compressors. Um, so they, they were able to kind of work that in there. But they, I think they kind of spaced everything a little bit to give more room. Like I said, like the good thing is they were willing to listen and all the changes were made. They got it sent out. I guess, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow and uh, we'll get a little Sergio's horn demo. So no joke guys, I totally forgot about the second half of this video. Um, and yes, I know my hair is going absolutely insane today. Thankfully, Sergio called me this morning and was like, hey, I'm about to call the customer to come pick up his truck. The train horn is done. Do you want to come check it out? So had a race over here and uh, yeah, still trying to wake up this morning. Well, I see the truck out here in uh, Sergio's sea of ambulances. I was locked out of the back of Sergio's shop. So we'll go check it out. Then we'll go find Sergio and let him give us a walk around. Well, it looks like it turned out super clean on the install. Plenty of clearance between the exhaust pipe because one thing you got to worry about with these plastic horns is it will melt. I know I mentioned that earlier, but looks really clean. Even being that with this bracket, you stack things top and bottom, it still ends up being a pretty compact unit. And what I like is you don't really see it from the back of the truck. Like you barely see the horns hanging down right there. But if you didn't know what they were, you wouldn't know what you were looking at. Now, I know I kept telling you guys um, that I was going to tell you what the price of those horns were. That exact setup that you were looking at right there is you might want to sit down for this. <laughs> Believe it or not, not installed, just parts, 1200 bucks. Just wrap your mind around that. I know like certain components are expensive, but like 1200 bucks. And to put that in perspective, my horn setup was 1500 for just the horns. And we got a Sergio. Up, she actually gave me the keys here. I'm gonna pull the truck around for him because the customer's coming to pick it up. Never driven one of these F-150s. So Sergio mounted the switches right here. Oh geez, stop yelling at me. I get it. All right, Sergio mounted the switches right here. So the on off for the compressors, is right there and then this right here is the horn button we'll hit that when we get around to the alley the turning radius on this truck ain't that great kind of on par with my uh, lly and just my luck when we go to pull it behind sergio's shop these guys pull in all right so we got sergio back. sergio how was lunch buddy oh really good thanks really good awesome yeah. awesome man so let's uh i mean sergio just blasted the horn right now without my, my attention there all right sergio hit this thing again one more time sergio hold it down It sounds good. I gotta give credit for being plastic horns. You guys know I'm a big Nathan uh, horn guy. The real cast horns, they're metal horns, same horns that me and Wes, well, I don't have installed on my truck, but Wes had installed on his truck. Like I'm a fan of that, but for plastic horns, the Horn Blasters horns sound absolutely great. Like they're really deep. Sergio actually almost prefers them, right? Yeah, I don't know why, I like the noise of it. Cost wise, that's gonna be for you guys to determine your budget. The kit is super clean. Nobody makes bracket systems like that, so I gotta give him credit for that. And then, you know, when you're done, call up my man Sergio, he gets you installed. He's yeah. becoming a pro at these things. <laughs> Starting to, yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I personally have heard a lot of these and I like them. So that concludes another train horn video. Now I know you guys are probably like at this point sick of train horn videos, but I wanna be able to bring you guys as many options as possible. And we just happen to be lucky enough to see such a vast variety of train horns come into this neighborhood that I'm compelled to film them and show them to all of you guys. That way, you know, it's a lot of money you're spending. And I want you guys to make sure you spend the money once, not 42 times and do have like 20,000 setups like Wes had. Get what you want from the very beginning and uh, it'll save you a lot of money in the end. So as always, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn.